This week in Kaiman News, students are getting some new workouts in at the University of Montana's Fitness and Recreation Center. The center recently re retrofitted an area on the second floor for CrossFit training. Students that are unfamiliar with CrossFit training can sign up for classes at the main desk. The university also wants students to propose energy-reducing projects to reduce the school's carbon footprint. UM's goal to be carbon neutral by 2020 is behind schedule. Emissions have dropped by just 2% since 2010. In other news, bikers have a new place to chill at the Lewis and Clark Transfer Center. Mountain Line recently opened a new bicycle station there this week. The $8,000 station features six bike parking terminals, a bike repair station, and a vending machine which dispenses food and bike parts. Sandra Day O'Connor is also coming to Missoula. The former Supreme Court Justice will receive an honorary Doctorate of Laws from the University of Montana at 3 p.m. on Friday in the George and Dane Jane Denison Theater. And in sports this week, volleyball is coming off three straight losses after last week's Cougar Challenge in Pullman, Washington. The team is set to play in the Lone Star Showdown in Lubbock, Texas this weekend. Both the men and women's cross country teams are coming off wins at the Carroll Early Bird Open in Helena last Friday. The team's next meet is September 21st in Bozeman. In soccer, the Grizzlies beat Utah Valley a score of 3 to 1. The Grizzlies are in Omaha, Nebraska on Friday to take on the University of Nebraska Omaha. And in football, the Grizzlies football team will play the University of North Dakota on Saturday. The game will be televised on KTMF TV Missoula. And make sure to pick up a copy of the Friday Kaiman, where Editor-in-Chief Amy Sisk explains what, if anything, UM has to do with Edward Snowden and the National Security Agency. With your weekly Kaiman cast, I'm Jackson Bolstead.